All right, let's talk about the catch basin, how we got to this point, explain it. All right, there's our grate. It's got more inlet than any other grate, and it's 100% HDPE. We also textured that grate to match the turf restrictor plate. It looks pretty darn good. All right, so this is where we were at. This was supposed to be the Mac Daddy of catch basins, right? The 12 by 12. Hook a pipe up to here. Another pipe up to here. The water shoots the gap and it drops sediment. No doubt, no doubt, to this point, it's always caught more shingle gravel than any other basin. But we also know you got to dig a really big hole to put this in. And I question the sump. I mean, on this bottom setting, there's literally no sump. Even once you go up to the second notch, it's not very much sump. Here in Michigan, in the north, this thing freezes solid. It becomes a big block of ice. You can never leach all the water into the subsoil. It's a problem. So they came out with this, and it's been a really big seller because it's so easy to install, but there's no sump. You can clearly see there's no sump. Virtually no sump. Also, when you have less of a gap to shoot, you don't catch as much gravel. I can tell you this from experience because we've played with all these different prototypes and just over the years of what I've seen. Easy to put in a trench. It's only five inches wide. It has a nice sump. This simulates a belly in a pipe. The basin becomes part of your pipe. Literally, the basin itself replaces a section of the system. You want to put this in your discharge line right at the very beginning. You'll catch all the sediment. Even in your downspout lines, you want to put these right away. That way, you're not contaminating the line. It's got to shoot this gap. This is a larger gap than a 12 by 12 catch basin has. It simulates a belly in a pipe, which we all know how much shingle gravel and debris and sediment a belly will catch. It'll plug a system, but you still have the top portion that replaces the pipe. So this clearly will catch more sediment, hold more sediment, and makes more sense. You can use it in the four inch version. We do make a solid plug, and that's why we came out with a solid plug, because we don't want mosquitoes to breed in here. We also have a very convenient bottom where you can just line up these, you can see these holes for a drill bit. Use a small drill bit, drill out those holes to whatever size you want, but I encourage a small drill bit. So during the rain, you're not leaching a lot of water. If you have a lot of permeable soil, you're in trouble if you have too big of holes in your basin. Because during the rain event, you're leaching a ton of water in this area. Now after the rain event, if you got small holes, you'll drain this out in good permeable soil. And then in clay, it's gonna take some time to leach out. It's just the way it is. But when you put 1% slope on the system, you have a little slope. This portion acts as the pipe itself. You can see how nice our three inch couplers fit. Our four inch couplers, we're making our own grate. It has more inlet than any other grate on the market. It's slightly domed. It's really nice and it's made out of HDPE. We're making a solid six inch cover too. So we're covering all bases with this thing. So you need to go up, inch and a half rises at a time. We have this flange so the dirt is on the flange. When you go to pull this off to clean it, this won't come up out of the ground because the dirt will be holding it in place. If you need a three inch lift, well then you just put another riser in. They stand. It's gotta be strong. It's gotta stand the test of time. And it's gotta make your job easy. Those are all the boxes that we're trying to check. 100% virgin HDPE, we prove it. We're using the natural color. We're not even putting dye in it so that you can clearly see there's no recycled materials in it. I'm listening to what all the guys need and want and we're answering the drainage contractor. This is something that I wish I always had. I mean, let's face it, that's not the answer, and this is not the answer. You're never gonna leach all that water and clay, never gonna happen. That's always gonna be full of water. And in the north, it just freezes up solid. And it's a lot of work to put that big basin in. This is gonna have the gap 
it's going to have a larger gap than a 12 by 12. When you put your pipes together with this basin, your pipes are sticking inside the basin. When you look down inside your basin and you measure the gap you're shooting, there ain't much of a gap once you put the pipe inside. The way these gaskets are made on this basin, and I know everybody's used it, contractors that are doing this for a living know exactly what I'm talking about. Ours hooks up out here. The pipe's not sticking inside the basin. We have a longer gap. Sediment in the water is going to fall and it's going to collect in the basin. You're going to catch it all. You're not going to contaminate your system. Now, we shaped it like this so the sediment all concentrates to the center, making it easy to reach in and clean or to use a shop vac and just stick it in there and suck it out of the bottom. That's how we do it. We also made the inside to where there's no square corners. It's all rounded. It's really smooth. That's because when you clean out a catch basin, it always sucks when you're trying to get all the scum and you have these 90 degree corners. Whoever designed these and built these do not put them in. It's obvious. And we're just doing it smarter. We're taking knowledge, wisdom, and common sense. We're making easy to install parts that are indestructible. We're giving the customer more. We're giving the contractor more. No more big 12 by 12s or nine by nines. These systems that don't have no sump, I mean, this is a joke. I've seen guys make videos saying $15 catch basin saves the homeowner thousands, but I argue this $15 catch basin costs the homeowner thousands when that system is so full of sediment that you have 30 feet of pipe just full of sediment and the system's just, you got to abandon it and run a new pipe. I've seen it. I've seen it many times throughout my years. So this is going to make it really nice for the guys that like trenchers. This is going to be slick. Again, this is only five inches wide. So we spent a ton of time on this. Obviously, I spent a ton of money to get to this point. And I'm really happy to be making this video for you guys. But that's kind of it. I know I'm long-winded. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff I forgot. But that's, that's the foundation of this anyways, guys. So you kind of know the direction that we're in. You know, where we came from, how we got here, and all that. All right, man, we appreciate your support. Thanks, everybody. If you like the user-friendly products we're bringing to market, give us a thumbs up. It supports what we're doing. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.